LXQT is a Linux desktop environment that promises to marry performance with great visual design. But does it deliver? Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is LXQT Review, the prettiest Linux desktop environment. Users looking for extreme performance in a desktop environment can look no further than LXQT. It's lightweight, extensible, powerful, and attractive right out of the box. In this LXQT review, I'll cover the experience of using LXQT, including first impressions, notable features, and performance, and discuss who should use LXQT and why. First impressions. Immediately, I'm struck by the look and feel of LXQT. It blends together in a distinct Linux and KDE Plasma styling that makes for a DE that doesn't feel too much like anything else. It's a really unique experience. Everything looks good, the theme and icons aren't ancient looking and the system is simple without being Spartan. User experience. LXQT is much the same as LXDE, as you may guess from the name. It follows the traditional desktop paradigm. There's an application menu with a search function in the bottom left a system tray in the bottom right, and some icons in the panel for favorite or common applications. There's also a workspace switcher, giving a layer of user experience that not every desktop environment does. Desktop icons are included as well, something unfortunately rare in today's Linux desktops. It's pretty quickly noticed that LXQT is quite simple, however, and that the simplicity is the main focus. It's so lightweight and flexible that it can be forced into just about every configuration imaginable. Q-Terminal One of the great features of LXQT is Q-Terminal. It was written for LXQT and it's one of the best terminals I've seen recently. Not because of any visual appeal, but because it supports tiling out of the box and is much more minimal than a tool like Tilix. It also has super simple keyboard shortcuts. So if you keep it to four subterminals, you can quickly navigate with out left and out right, out up and out down. Q-Terminal is highly functional and lightweight terminal emulator, and I love that it's built into a desktop environment like this. It makes me feel like for all the other features I miss by using something as minimal as LXQT, I get to use a really special terminal. PCMAN FM, QT File Manager. While it may seem like any other file manager on the surface, there's a lot packed into this little file manager. It's easily one of the easiest file managers I've ever used to get to the root file system. This can be incredibly useful for newer users who don't want to dive right into the terminal and it's just nice to have. Also, there's great tabbing functionality, which is great for keeping track of directories across disks that aren't just a click or two away. Overall, for such a lightweight program, it packs a big punch. Performance. Performance on LXQT, just as on LXDE, is excellent. It's incredibly light on resources, using just 340 megabytes of RAM and less than 1% of CPU. However, more than just being light, it feels light. It's very responsive. When you click on an icon, the program just opens. When you move Windows around, it hops to work immediately. I feel completely in control of my system when I'm using LXQT. The cons of LXQT. While there are a great many parts of LXQT, there are some downsides. One of them is the lack of window tiling keyboard shortcuts out of the box. As someone who regularly works with only one display, I can say this would be a deal breaker for me. I tile windows constantly and the inability to do that would severely impact my workflow. Additionally, for those users looking for a cohesive feel to their desktop environment, LXQT may not be for them. It's assembled from parts and it feels disjointed in practical use. It feels like someone sacrificed everything to give a lightweight, fully featured desktop. There's probably a good reason for that. That's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just something to watch for. Where to experience LXQT? There are a variety of ways, but one of the best I've seen is with, obviously, Lubuntu. It's a friendly base that adds many nice look and feel touches to LXQT that make it much friendlier to use. I really like the overall colouring and theme. It highlights the potential beauty of such simple desktop environments, which is a reminder I think we all need on occasion. Who should use LXQT? Well, 
Similar to the advice I'd give about LXDE, the user who should have LXQT is the user who is looking for the most performance out of the box at the expense of everything else. You may be on a system with limited RAM and CPU horsepower and looking to maximise your experience, or you may just value minimalism or simplicity over cohesion. Regardless, LXQT is a good choice. Okay, as always, thanks very much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.